Hello, it's Matt with the uh, CD, DVD, Blu-ray update. Trying this whole hand POV thing. I feel like I need to be like going over some crappy Disney VHS and like a Scandinavian accent that no one really cares about. Like, oh, this is the Fox and the Hound Japanese release on uh, VHS. They put it out about 95 and uh, oh, this is just a real good edition, you know. It, it goes for about 60 euros on uh, Amazon UK, but you know if you're a collector it's worth it. <laughs> uh, no one likes the Fox and the Hound that much. Alright, uh, first up, it's a CD, and I think me and my friend Corey are the only people that still actually buy CDs. And it's the uh, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo soundtrack, score, whatever. Music by Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross. It's got a pretty cool slipcase. And uh, it's three disc. It's got some really, oh, it's upside down. It's got some real groovy artwork. Do 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 do. Yeah, and it's about 36 songs, I believe. Which sounds like a lot for a soundtrack, but you know the movie's pretty fucking long. Uh, next is a uh, mysterious skin. Oh yeah, look at that, that cover right there. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is probably my favorite Joseph Gordon LeVette movie, and I had to rebuy it because my copy got fucked up. And once you know it, I buy this one used and it comes in fucked up too, more so than the one I had. So I'm going to have to re-re-buy it, but great movie, if you haven't seen it, check it out. You know, if you're cool with gay movies and you know me and my gay dramas. Yep. Up next, uh, I got these next two at uh, Planet Nutrition, that store I've talked about many times. I just go in and shoot the shit with the guy, and I usually feel pretty bad if I don't buy something off of this. Expendables on Blu-ray, you know, I could live without this, but you know, he only went like seven bucks for it, so I figured why the hell not. Do do do. Uh, yep. Moving on. Uh, rest stop one and two. I never watched the rest stop movies, but he wanted like two bucks, so I just went ahead and got it. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. uh Slimmer Party Massacre collection. I really just bought this for part two because, you know, who doesn't like a guitar drill as a murder weapon? Yeah. Pretty cool. Part of the. Roger Corman collection. Keeping with my uh, theme of white kids doing bad shit in the 90s, we have Spun, Brittany Murphy on Crystal Meth. So pretty much just Brittany Murphy. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, Mickey Rock. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. By the way, the reason I'm doing this hands-on type thing is, well, number one, I just got a haircut, and it's a bit shorter than I would have liked, so I give it about a week before I, you know, show anyone. It's kind of weird. And also, I got this new tripod. I might show it off at the end of the video. Check out the sweet panning action. Oh, yeah, that's smooth. What if I panned over really far to the left, and there's just, like, a naked, buff black guy just on my bed texting or something? Wouldn't that be weird? Do you guys still watch my videos? Ah, I know you will. Up next is Train Spotting. Uh, surprised I didn't have this already. But, that's yeah, just one of those things I got around to. It's got a English and French, so I'm guessing this might be a Canadian import. But I just picked up it some DVD shop in Rivers Brawl. I think it was Media Rerun. It might have been Hastings. I'm not sure. Up next, another Joseph Gordon the Vet movie that I fucked up and had to buy another copy of. It's Brick. But well worth the buy. Uh, I haven't watched this to see if it's kosher or not. This one might be just as must up because I'm pretty sure I bought it used. But go ahead and pop it open. See the discard. Groovy. Up next, I got the Crow DVD, Blu-ray, digital... Oh, no, it's just the Blu-ray and the digital copy. But, uh, yeah, I've had about six copies of the Crow throughout my lifetime, and they've all gotten fucked up some way or another. So hopefully I'll take better care of this one. Do -do -do. Up next, uh, I've seen a few people talk about this show. It's a uh, Prisoner Cell Block H. It's just more like a collection. It's not really a specific season. I saw one video where someone had like the entire series and it was like in a huge fucking suitcase. So I'm guessing it was like a long playing drama like Days of Our Lives or General Hospital or some shit where it just goes on for years. So that's kind of like a best of thing. I haven't really watched it yet. 
Uh, up next is Gus Van Zant's elephant. Cool shit. White kid doing bad shit. Shooting up schools. Coolio. Oh, there's no discard on that. Uh, I think I showed this off in the last video. That's Gus Van Zant's last days. It's loosely based on Kurt Cobain. And as I watched this movie, I really began to realize how little of a shit I give about Kurt Cobain. Yeah. Uh, next is Ken Park. This is a Russian import, I believe. At least that looks Russian to me. So I was real nervous when I was like, oh shit, I don't have a region free player. How the hell am I gonna play like a region four or five, whatever the fuck Rush is in? But no, it's region free and it played just fine on my Xbox and so yeah, Ken Park. Cool. Some more Larry Clark and Harmony Corinne action. Alright, that's the end of the update. Uh, thanks for watching. Okay, this is my new uh, tripod. Uh, full length, it's 58 inches, which is like uh, a little less than 5 feet, something like that, 4.5. But yeah, I picked this up at Walmart for like 28 bucks. It's not bad. Beats the hell out of this tiny ass desk tripod I was using, I was like 6 inches tall. It's got this real nice panning handle here. You can adjust it in several different ways. Uh, it's got these cool little balance meters. Uh, there's another one right here to show you if it's level or not. Many different ways you can adjust it. A lot of extra stability bars and stuff like that. And you use these clamps to adjust the height. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with it so far. Who knows, in the future I might get a more professional one. But hey, this one does the job for 28 bucks. Okay, bye-bye. This is my new haircut. All my friends have this haircut and they're all getting laid tonight.